In Jennifer's body, Jennifer's outfits are the opposite of what you'd expect from a murderer. In the beginning, her outfit is sexy and innocent. She wears revealing tops to weaponize her body and exert power. It's also why the band targets her. They assume she's a virgin because she likes to show it off and never give it up, but that's only half true. Her jacket is white and innocent color. Her teenage crush is exploited. After her assault, you can see the feathers falling out and it's supposed to make her look like a plucked chicken. The next day, she wears a happy, confident yellow. She's enjoying her newfound power, but it's also hazardous. Her victims ignore so many red flags because sleeping with her is so enticing. Her heart hoodie seems to reflect softness and love, but it's deceitful. Jennifer has lost her humanity by taking advantage of boys' lust. Everyone else is in gray, grieving death. Jennifer is thriving, making her more terrifying. At the dance, her white dress is unassuming and ghostly. The black lace hints at her dark intentions. Practically, it shows the gore the best. Jennifer is a monster and a victim. The constant focus on her body has resulted in low self-esteem. She has no choice but to think of herself as a prize, and so she dresses to look like one.